<laughs> so what you find in the, the software security marketplace and the software security community is that everybody knows everybody. It's a pretty small world still. There are just a few thousand people on the planet doing this stuff. Um, and doing favors for each other, even in different parts of the community, is super important. I think what OWASP is doing to get the word out about software security is pretty fundamental to helping it grow and scale. And so sharing my ideas with the people in California that are thinking about application security and software security and getting those people to think about scalability, about real world problems, about talking to boards of directors, about how you measure software security and making things kind of slightly more strategic is an important part of why I wanted to come here and share what I've learned over the last 21 years. That's a really good question. I actually think it's an important phenomenon. You got to know that when I started working on computer security in 1995, um, with the advent of Java and because we got a grant from DARPA to work on it at Sigital, um, I wasn't a security guy. I had just finished a PhD in cognitive science and computer science with Doug Hofstetter. So I knew an awful lot about machine learning and I knew a lot about AI and I knew a lot about computer science, but I had to learn about security. One of the things that helped us all back then was that we had people from many different backgrounds coming together to address the security problem in a new way. So if you think about, say, Dan Gear, who um, has a PhD in biostatistics or you know, there are lots of different people that I can mention like this, or, you know, uh, Marcus Raynham, whose background was in the military and then working at CERT. The, these people come, came from very diverse backgrounds, and that led to this security renaissance in 1995, 96, all the way up through 2000. Uh, we've made a huge difference lately in getting the message of building security in, into the world, which is super good. Um, but what we need now is different perspectives. So let me give you an example. Security testing as a discipline needs work. We do okay with pen testing. We can break some stuff. We can find some bugs. But if you ask the typical security tester, what's code coverage? They don't know. Everybody in QA knows that. So if QA people start coming to this conference and learning about security, they can also teach us about testing. And that goes for every subdiscipline you can think of. The, the size right now is really nice because what I've experienced so far is an enthusiastic and large enough audience to make a difference so that I'm, you know, people that can do this for a living are willing to come and talk to that many people. That's good. But more importantly, there's still the energy of the hall track. There are people that you run into, people you haven't seen for a while, you know, that you can catch up with. And there's plenty of, uh, of scheduling allowed for networking. And the hall track is pretty strong from what I've experienced in the last couple hours. So I hope that part of the conference stays the way it is. Software security seems like it's made great progress, um, especially in the last 21 years since I wrote Building Secure Software with Viega in 1999, but we still have plenty of work to go. And what's happened is we have gotten the early adopters have, have, have been doing a great job with software security, and now the middle market's beginning to pick it up. The good news is we know what to do, we know what should be done, and we, in some sense, now need to take those messages wide and get all the other developers out there in the world to do this stuff. So what I said in the BSIM talk is we had about 300,000 developers, 278,000 some developers that are directly touched by the BSIM, but there are 8 million developers out there. So we have our work cut out for us in the software security world. The good news is we know what to do. We know why to do it. We know how to measure it. Now it's time to do it.